How are we gonna get back? Just dump back here. Yeah, when we get to the blacksmith. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, I'm kind of tired of like shooting in the city. Yeah. Should we send it? Throw the snow. I'm feeling some snow. Alright. Uh, Three, two, one. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Where are we? Actually, I actually have no idea which part we're in. Yeah, me neither. But yeah. It's very white. I don't even know where we are, but the mountain place looks so cool. But yeah, we're gonna shoot some stuff here. How are we gonna get back? Okay. Just jump. Just jump back here. Yeah, when we get to the <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, it's starting to rain. Oh, oh. Alright, so we just finished up shooting and it's starting to rain. Our hands, our feet are like I'm frozen. frozen. Oh, oh my whole way I'm actually just frozen. Like, completely. Oh, but was it a worth it shoot? Let's yeah. end. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> But yeah, we're just gonna head it back, and if we see other spots, we're just gonna send it. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, so I'm back home. I'm feeling much warmer. And yeah, today was just a really good day. We decided to go to the snow because it just started. And yeah, as you should expect, when the snow season just starts, there isn't that much snow, which is a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is that there's not that much snow, so it's sort of easy to get around. The bad thing is there's not that much snow. <laughs> so me and Daniel originally decided to go to Lake Mountain, which is like about an hour from Melbourne. And when we got to about the entrance of the place, it said that the roads closed and we just waited and waited and waited. And after all the waiting, the road was still closed. So we just decided to go home because there was no point. So with our hopes all down and disappointed, we weren't really feeling like taking photos anymore. But just as we drove past the town that's at the bottom of Lake Mountain, there's this patch of land that was just covered in snow. The mountains were crazy. The trees were covered in like little snow on top of it. I don't really go to the snow often, so it's just like mind blowing for me. But yeah, the photo. So the first photo was just a warm up photo where I got down low onto this puddle that I found and shot on the road with Daniel ahead so I can get that reflection of him in the puddle and on the snow on the sides. Daniel also got this photo of the road on his drone and it just looks absolutely insane. If you aren't already following Daniel on Instagram or YouTube, definitely give him a follow or subscribe because he does some insane stuff. So yeah, check it out. And the next photo, we decided to both go on the field and sort of capture the landscape of everything, just take it all in and it's insane. Like just looking at the landscape, it looks like it's a scene from Game of Thrones with the mountains in the distance with covered in snow and covered by fog and everything. It was just so cool. But yeah, for the photo, I got Daniel to stand in the middle in front of this like little small cl cluster of trees to show the scale of the landscape in front of him where it's just massive. And just after taking that photo, my camera battery died. So I was like, oh crap, what do I do? So I told him to wait there as I go to my car and get a new battery. And when I was walking back from my car, I saw this like small circle of trees and I could just see Daniel perfectly framed in between it. So I told him just like, stand there, let me take the photo and I got it. It looks so good. Like Daniel wasn't even posing, he just standing there. And it turned out to look so, so good. Because the trees around us sort of just frame the shot up for me and it still shows off the landscape behind it. And it creates a really nice atmosphere to it. So it's so good. But yeah, those were the photos. And originally we wanted to go to Lake Mountain and things didn't go as planned, but that's okay. Cause we got these dope ass photos. So yeah. And I think that's the thing with all these trips that I'm going on. It's like, I never know if it's going to turn out really good or waste of time because you never know with these conditions and these places that you've never been before but it's all about taking that risk because the good things that you want are just behind this wall of fear and doubt that you just need to get over so just taking that leap of faith and tackling it head-on is gonna turn out worth it anyway <laughs>
I don't really know what I'm saying I'm just rambling but if you like this video or if I told you something give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you want and if you want to follow me on Instagram my handle is at tobytrain underscore and as always continue to create I'll see you in the next one